Second, second rows, Stephen Laidlaw. Outside of him, the Cortina of Aaron Sander. This is a class field of production cars. Twenty-five laps the journey for the Australian Grand Prix. The King's Royal is coming next. There's a green one off and running. Daniel Henshaw gets the better of the jump. From Neil Caldoulas back then to Josh Harm. Have a look at Stephen Laidlaw. The Victorian's got the bit between his teeth this time. Lead two cars. Settle down to fight it out. Daniel Henshaw up high on the racetrack. Neil Caldoulas. Next run is Josh Harm. Tucked in there is Stephen Laidlaw. Tim Matkins up high on the racetrack as well. In there too is Aaron Sander. There's plenty of action at the front of this one. They're all chasing Daniel Henshaw. Daniel Henshaw, the race leader. Neil Caldoulas, Josh Harm, Tim Matkin, Stephen Laidlaw, Aaron Sander is in there. Coming through is Andrew Corbett in the car number eight, getting up towards the front of the pack as well. In there too is uh, Josh Arthur. So plenty of action up the front. This is Productions. Have a look at our race leader, Daniel Henshaw. Leads the way in the Australian Grand Prix. Neil Caldoulas fights off the opposition. Holds on to position number two, back to Josh Harm. Tim Atkins up high on the racetrack. Stephen Laidlaw drives underneath him. Have a look. Andrew uh, Corbett is the next car. They've shuffled. Aaron Sander back a few. Back then we go to Josh Arthur. Andrew Beaton would be the next one. And then we've got car number two of Josh Krang. Go back to our race leader. Great guns out the front. Daniel Henshaw. Neil Caldoulas. Josh Harm. Tim Atkin doing battle with Stephen Laidlaw. Next one through there is Andrew uh, Corbett. They've dropped off. Aaron Sander a little bit. Josh Arthur gets around the outside and up into about position number seven. They drop back. Stephen Laidlaw a little bit as well, but he's back underneath Andrew Corbett. And the three of them head up the uh, back straight away and into the western corner. They're all both trying to move underneath Tim Atkin. Can't do it at the moment. Andrew Corbett working away. Tim Atkin holds on to four. Andrew Corbett down the inside of him. Going around the outside, Josh Arthur is moving from the back of the pack. Tucked in behind him is Stephen Laidlaw. They've still got three in front of this group, and that's Daniel Henshaw, Neil Caldoulas, and Josh Harm. Tim Atkin. Andrew Corbett. Josh Arthur. Stephen Laidlaw. Andrew Beaton. And Aaron Sander. If anything, Daniel Henshaw has been able to open the lead a little bit. Back to Neil Caldoulas. Back behind him is Josh Arm. A bit of a gap back to Tim Aiken, Andrew Corbett, Stephen Laidlaw, and Josh Arthur. Put another lap down on the journey as lap number 10 completed. Our race leader heads up the back chute and into the western corners. He's starting to move up on lap traffic and one in trouble up against the fence is indeed one of our original leaders is car number 16, Aaron Sander, who gets across the racetrack and onto the infield and out of harm's way as our race leader continues on his merry way around the western corner, gets it a little bit out of plonk, going through there, but back on the line as he goes underneath the control tower. Daniel Henshaw to the batter of Neil Caldoulas. Back then to Josh Harm. Stephen Laidlaw has got underneath Tim Atkin. Andrew uh, Corbett would be the next one. Josh Arthur sticking with the high line. Then we go back to Andrew Beaton. What a race for production cars. Our race leader has been caught 
by the pursuing Neil Caldoulis. He's right on his hammer. Neil gets it all out of shape, coming out of turn number four as they complete 15 of the 25. So 10 to go. Daniel Henshaw is still the race leader. Neil Caldoulis, Josh Harm, Stephen Laidlaw still chasing hard in position number four. They go around the outside of the Mark Quirk, who brings the car onto the infield. The next one in front of them is Richard Cook. Back at the race lead, Daniel Henshaw. A bit of a gap now back to Neil Caldoulis. Back then to Josh Harm. A big gap back to Stephen Laidlaw. Then we've got Tim Atkin battling it out with Andrew Corbett and Josh Arthur. Back to Andrew Beaton and Russell Cowley. Great stuff. We pick up the race leader. He's moved underneath Richard Cook who moves out of the way. So he's got a lap car between himself and a pursuing Neil Caldoulis. Josh Harms in the mix. Back then to Stephen Laidlaw. The car starting to blow a little bit of steam out of the back. Andrew Corbett, Tim Atkin and Josh Arthur battle out the next position. Race leader has completed 19 laps. That's Daniel Henshaw. Richard Cook is doing him a great favour because he's not succumbing to the lap car that easily and eventually Neil Caldoulis gets by but very close to Neil Caldoulis now is car number 11 of Josh Harm. Long way back we find that uh, Andrew Corbett has got himself through into position four. Tim Atkin, Josh uh, Arthur and I'd say that Stephen Laidlaw the car is overheating. We'll go back to the front of the field. Josh Harm has a little look under Neil Caldoulis. He can't do it while that is happening. 20 metres up the racetrack is Daniel Henshaw. Got a yellow. is when it says 22 and the checkered flag comes out. Okay. We were looking for 25 laps, it didn't happen. It was a 22 lap feature race. Rules changed. But Daniel Henshaw okay. wins. Put your hands together, Daniel Henshaw. Gimpy car number 10. He won the 22 laps of the 25 lap feature. Neil Caldoulis in for second. And I got no idea who was third. Great stuff from the production cars. Put your hands together, folks, for them. Production sedan racing, fantastic. I tell you what, racetrack here at Kingaroy Showground is in superb condition. Congratulations to our winner, Daniel Henshaw. We've got to have a talk. We'll get him over here. He's got, got his cheer squad over there under the trees. Great stuff.